Hello everyone! Today's video is all about spring and I made these two embroidery hoop wreaths using Dollar Tree flowers and I got the embroidery hoops on Amazon. I really love how these turned out and if you aren't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. So you will need some Dollar Tree flowers, some embroidery hoops, hot glue gun, styrofoam wreath, ribbon and letter stickers, wire cutters, and felt. So you're going to take your styrofoam wreath and cut about a 6 inch piece out of there and then very carefully just cut that piece in half like so. So next you're going to cut your flowers with your wire cutters and you will cut about 3 to 4 inches from the top of the flower for this lavender spring wreath. These flowers again I got from Dollar Tree and I got the dark purple, the light purple, and the white. So you will just be stacking your flowers in your styrofoam like so. And you're going to put them all over the front of your styrofoam piece. So just fill your flowers up so that you can't see much of the green anymore. So next you're going to be carefully hot gluing your styrofoam piece to your embroidery hoop. Next you're going to take a piece of ribbon and I just had this on hand. So I tied it to either end of the embroidery hoop and then put my sticker letters right in the middle. So wreath number two, I used these greenery bouquet flowers from the Dollar Tree and these have like a nice dusty kind of coating on them and I think that they were really pretty. So I took about four of them for this project. So you just want to cut right before the thick part of the stem because for this wreath you want your flowers to kind of stand up just on the top there like the top row you're not going to be putting them all on the front of that styrofoam piece but just standing up like so. So again, now you're going to be carefully hot gluing it to your embroidery hoop. So next you're going to take a piece of felt and you're just going to be putting it on the bottom where the green part is, where the green part meets the embroidery hoop. And so you're just going to be gluing that piece of felt to the bottom there all around in the front and in the back. So again, I absolutely love how these turned out. I think they're great. I tried to do my own little spin on these minimal wreaths and I think they turned out great. You can use these for wall hangings or you can use it for a door wreath and I think that either way would be great. Thank you guys again so much for watching and please subscribe. 